Hello everybody, I'm Danny, and welcome back to Nancy Drew number 32, The Sea of Darkness. So where we last left off, we were trying to solve our match the sail names to the sails puzzle. And I was pretty stumped, and when I went back, I found out that I just missed an entire um, mass name, which would explain why everything was thrown off. So now that I have a proper set of notes on this, um, I think we can try again. So... This is the bowsprit, so the jib is on top, and the sprit sails are below. So A would be jib, B would be sprit sail, and then I missed main and four. I didn't really get where those were supposed to be, so the tallest one is the main mast, then the foremast, the mizzen, and the jigger. So we only have one um, jigger in this one, so that's gonna be the jigger stay sail. And it's the stay sail, stay sail, because it is only attached to the jizzer. Jigger, it's been a long day. Um, so those are our kind of given ones already. And then it would probably be best to do the uh, other stay sails first. So, uh, let's see, we have stay sail, jigger stay sail. The main top gallant stay sail, the mizzen stay sail, and the main top mast stay sail. So we know that this one is the mizzen, because it's the third tallest. So this is the only one that's attached to the mizzen. So that's gonna be the mizzen stay sail. Stay sail. Um, and then we have these two. So we have to see which one is higher. We have top gallant and top mast. So top gallant is higher, so that means that the top gallant is going to be F, because that's higher. So main top gallant stay sail, and mizzen, no, main top mast stay sail. So all our stay sails and our kind of tag alongs are done, so now we just have the main mast ones. So, or bad choice of words, I guess. The... I don't know what word I can replace with main, but so I guess we'll start with the main mast because it's first. So all the way up at the top we have the royal. And there's actually only the one that says royal, so that's pretty easy. And then we have the... I. So next down is top gallant. So this is gonna be the main top gallant. Main top gallant sail, I think. Yes. And then we have J. Would that be top mast or just top sail? My notes are still a little bit messy. I think top mast is below regular top, so. I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be the main top sail, I guess. And then K, I think will be top mast. So this one will be the uh, main top mast. Is that one? Um, no. So. We'll have to, maybe that's what these are, like just the main sails and not anything fancy. We'll go back to that. So now next highest, we have the four sails. This is gonna be all the fours. So this is one down from Royal. This was our top gallant. So this would be our four top gallant. And then D, this will be top. So four top sail, right? Four top sail. And then we have this same thing. There's a four sail and a main sail. So I'm just gonna take a guess that that's what those are. Okay. Now we just have the mizzen top sail and the mizzen top gallant. So we know top gallant's higher, so that'll be L. And, nope, not O, M. Ah, awesome. All right, so now we can learn to speak like a sailor aboard a tall ship. So this might help with other uh, 
puzzles. Oh, okay. So these are the words that were in um, Magnus's sounding numbers puzzle. Um, so things like keelhaul, oakum, transom, bilge. Cool, cool. Anything else for that? No. All right, Soren, what's up? Can I help? Maybe. Uh, apparently, yes. What's your relationship like with Elizabeth? Presently, quite poor. She won't allow certain, um, members of the restoration team to access their work. You mean Dagny? Yes, but overall, she's quite a peach, that one. The only one who's ever shown me kindness. Truly a shame about her and Magnus, though. Her and Magnus? The force of their romantic split rocked the local mountains to their very core. I wonder if he's checked his voicemail since. <laughs> All right, so apparently that was a big deal. <laughs> Have you always lived here? For 12 years in total now. Uh, two before University 10 after. Others seem to think of you as an outsider. Gunner especially. Oh, for the love of... I was born 10 miles away. And that means you don't live here? To him, yes. To everyone, yes. It's preposterous. In their minds, I'll never be from Skiprot because I wasn't born here. Upper secondary school was a nightmare with these people. I may not know much about Skiprot, but there are lots of unpleasant people in my line of work. Sometimes persistence helps. Oh, I've tried. I've bent over backwards to put on this festival for them, and yet no one invites me out. I'm not welcome at the pub. Spending my birthday alone is getting to be a real downer. All right, that kind of screams lonely bad guy to me, but we'll see. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Do you have anything which might help with my investigation? Hmm. If I'm not in town, I'm always locked up in here. I do have some very nice pamphlets, though. The Pamphlet Lover's Journal rated them a nine star out of ten. <laughs> I put them together myself. Here's one for your troubles. Well, it's hard to turn down an award-winning pamphlet. <laughs> I'll see if I can make use of this. Award-winning pamphlet. That sounds intriguing. Hey, sailors, did you know? Every year in Iceland, roughly 0.8 out of every 100,000 citizens die of drowning, or approximately 2.6 people per year. That's interesting with how Magnus was talking, or they were talking about how Magnus might have drowned. Because modern science has not made it possible to save six tenths of a person from drowning, caution while out on the seas, it can be the most important factor in saving a life. Dinghy care, know your motor, proper voltage must be flowing to, to jumpstart a broken motor. Remember these standard recommended voltages, 16, 9, 19, 13. So, um, <laughs> what? Um, we did have this puzzle for um, repairing our dinghy, actually. So those will come in handy. Also, utility hook, scraping barnacles. All right, easy pancake flipping and threatening political dissenters. Thanks, Soren. All right, Soren. Thanks, buddy. I sense some bad blood between you and Gunner. Huh. It's more like Gunner dumping bad blood onto me, repeatedly, while laughing. I try to be patient, given his history. But what a Neanderthal, that one. I can't reason with a man who only speaks fist. Between you and me, he's never been the same since that terrible crash years ago. Crash? Crash? Well, I don't know that it's my place to speak of it, but his boat sank to the bottom of the bay, and he hasn't sailed since. Now he stays locked up in that pub of his. So, you attended the festival, right? Present and accounted for, naturally. Interesting. Dagny says you weren't there. I was up in old Stulka, manning the controls for our audio. That's the tower right outside the center. People very rarely look up, I found, which is a shame. Lots of nifty things in that direction. Goodbye. Well, on with it. Lots of nifty things in that direction. All right, Soren. Can we fix the knots? Could you finish setting up the knots display? <sighs> you just need to match the images to the knot they create. I do it myself, but I don't have the time. Sure, leave it to me. 
This is that classic, like, I was going to do something anyway, and then someone told me to do it, so now I don't really feel like doing it anymore. I was going to just uh, fix this not display myself, and then Soren's like, I don't have time. Can you do it? And like, no. But whatever. I guess I'll just do it anyway. So we can scroll down here. And we have to see which one is which. So, anything that's kind of like two parallel ones is gonna be that. The two loops could get a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna do the parallel ones first. So there are five steps. Why is one of them blue? Considering this is only two and it's just going around, I'm gonna say that's probably one. And then is this like, pull it tight? Yeah, this one's pretty easy, I think. Pull it tight, or yes. And then once it's wrapped around that way, kinda put it in a loopy thing. Com wrap the loopy thing into another loopy thing and pull it tight and it's done, right? And this, it looks kind of loose. Is it supposed to be that? Or are we supposed to be pulling it tight at the end? I don't know. I'm going to leave it for now. So now we have our other two. So one of them is going to be kind of like a T at the top, and one of them is just going to kind of look like a sack. So, both of them have their red pointing up. Let's look at our two starting ones and see where to go from there. So this one, it's like a big loop and then the green ends up on the bottom. And this one, so this one looks a lot like this one. So I'm gonna put that there and this one here. Now let's see what's next. This is gonna be the finished over here, and this is gonna be the finished over here, I think. Um, and this is before you pull it tight, right? Same thing with this, this is it before you pull it tight. All right. This is before you wrap it around. And then this is after you wrap it around that way, so I think that's good. And then this maybe? Perfect. Woo! Soren should be happy about this. Yeah, he better be. For Fedra had did <laughs> the Ancestors Festival returns for its 75th year. Gunpowder. Looks like someone wrote a note for themselves. Gunpowder, interesting. All right, we've done our knots display. Check. Still have to do that. Oh, we haven't looked outside of town yet. Really? That's it? There was nothing for the knots or for the uh, parts of a ship? Kind of surprising, but all right. Is this what Sorum was talking about? Old Stolka. He's up here chilling, I guess. Let's look at the snowmobiles. Hmm. Woo! Oh, we got a key. Nope, that's the radio key. Lighthouse key. Snowmobile key. It's out of gas. No dice. Luckily, we already picked up some gas. That should do it for the fuel tank. All right. Caverns, and then this is Magnus's cabin, I believe. Yeah. Locked. I guess he would lock his front door. Mm, one would think. All right, so let's check out the caverns. Super cool. I'm not a big fan of exploring caves in the dark. 
I'll need a light source. All right, so we need to find batteries because we already have the uh, the light source. We just need to power it. So I don't know. Oh, Jesus! Gunner. Hello. What are you doing? Got in fish for Elizabeth. What's wrong with you? You look like a giant man just threatening you. Oh. <laughs> well then, back to your thing. Oh God, why? Why would you do this to me, Gunner? All right. So we explored the town now, right? Haven't done that. How? <laughs> Do we have to go through the caves and look at the... Hmm. Let's see if we can get the radio working. I think we have everything we need for that. That's up here. Alright, hmm. can we chat with someone? Hello? Hello? Hmm, no one's there. Magnus? Magnus, is that you? Guess again. Uh-oh. Who is this? Wait, I can explain. I didn't know he was going to go missing, and okay, so I haven't filled out all the daily logs for the guy in months, and yes, okay, so I napped through all of the training videos, but I didn't mean to, and I guess what I'm saying is please don't fire me. Uh, I'm not here to fire you. So you're not working with my boss? Nope. Oh man, that's a relief. Well then, <clears throat> this is control tower number 32, operator Alex Lin Trong speaking. Hi Alex, I'm Nancy. All right. Daily logs, no missing person. Let's keep it basic. I'm a detective trying to find out more about Magnus. Magnus. He's he's gone, isn't he? I wanted to say something, but I didn't want to get in trouble. What did you hear? Some pretty messed up stuff. I I don't know if I can tell you. Why not? Whoever took him, they might come after me too. And if my boss finds out someone went missing on my watch and I didn't report it, look. I need this internship. If I get fired here, I'll be a barista until I die. I'm allergic to coffee, man. I can't go back. I can't go back to that life. Alex, slow down and stay calm. I need your help. If what you're saying is true, Magnus might be in serious danger. But you don't have to handle this alone. I... Uh, okay, I heard Magnus calling in early morning, same as always, just to say hi around six. Then we started chatting, just like we always do. He was excited about the ship he was piloting. He said it was his baby. He started pulling into Skiprot Harbor. I heard a voice on board, I mean. He went to go check it out, left the radio on. I heard shouting, fighting, then nothing. Just silence. That's not good. I think this investigation just went from missing persons to abduction. It's dark out there, and the water's cold. But I know he didn't go on his own. That's why I'm keeping my head down. Alright, so yeah, we've, I think, officially ruled out the, oh, maybe he just drowned. Um. Could you hear anything Magnus said? Something about the ship. That's all I got. I, I was too scared. Oh, I hope he's okay. Yeah, I probably should have asked if it was male or female. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Who are you? Just a lowly undergrad assigned to a cubicle, a pair of headphones, and a computer. I'm here on an internship for my maritime psychology degree. My parents said I'd never find a paying job. Shows them. Me and Magnus, we were kind of buddies. I mean, we never met or anything, but whenever he'd radio in, he always wanted to chat. Not a lot of people want to chat with the intern. Aww. You don't sound Icelandic, though. Nope. Massachusetts. So, what are you doing here? Whoa. Deep. I gotta think about that one. I mean, what are any of us doing in this crazy messed up world, uh, you know? No, I mean in Iceland, in a control tower, you know, that stuff. Oh, that. I work in the harbor controller's office. I keep track of ship movement and speak with anyone taking a ship to harbor in Iceland. All right. What can you tell me about Magnus? He's totally weird. Good weird. Not serial killer weird. He's one of those people who rarely speaks, but when they do, it's the most interesting thing you've heard in days. He bottles up thoughts and distills them. Oh, interesting. Mm, nothing else? What on earth is a maritime psychology degree? I have a 30-page thesis answering exactly that question, but it can all be boiled down to two words. 
sailor feelings. Oh, interesting. Come on, Nancy, give her some better answers. But also, sailor feelings? What did you mean by daily logs earlier? There are these logs I'm supposed to fill out whenever a vessel passes through us. So, are they filled out? Kind of. I turned one sheet into an homage to my relationship with my mom, another into this super cool drawing of a whale. I haven't been keeping tabs on vessels as well as I should be. Oh, no way. How cool are we talking? The coolest! I actually stapled it to my cubicle wall, and regardless, I don't have any records of Magnus going through our waters. All right. Have you met Dagny? Is that the super mercenary one? Always freezing, kind of sassy? Sounds like her. She used to call me all the time. Always tried to get information about Magnus's plans to come in and out of harbor. Joke's on her. I'm so disorganized, I can't match my sock colors, let alone keep records of Magnus's charting. She always wanted to know when he'd be gone. I never told her, obviously. What was she trying to do in his absence? No clue. But I did some internet stalking on her. One of my many talents. I found out she's wanted in the States for skimming some cash off a treasure find in the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, that explains why she's been hanging around in Iceland, I guess. Interesting. What do you know about Soren? That guy who runs the festival? Yes. He's worked with us a few times. Always seems like there's something just under the surface with that one. Cheerful, and yet angry. Or bitter. Like he was holding something back. They say Icelanders never forget a grudge. They do. And by they, I actually just mean me. <laughs> Man, that's a pretty accurate description. Any other information for me? Not really. Mostly I just kick it in this cubicle and keep my tall ship lifestyle blog updated. It's called Ship Facts. Want to hear about it? Well, sure. Educate me. Okay. Ship Facts. The forecastle on a ship refers to the upper forward deck of a sailing ship, but it's pronounced forecastle. Why is that? Try pronouncing it like an English sailor with no formal education. Forecastle. Forecastle. Over time it whittled down. Get it? Hey, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I want to distract Elizabeth and get her off of here. I need a way to distract someone on board this ship. So you can do what exactly? Snoop through their stuff. Hey, at least you're honest about it. Acceptance is the first step to healing. <laughs> yeah, I can help. What do I do? Hold up, Klepto. I've got a favor to ask first. Okay, name your price. There's a lighthouse near Skip Rock. You can probably see it from town, but... The light's busted right now. If you can get up there and fix that light, it means I can stay here at HQ with my cup of tea and giant snuggle blanket. I'll give it a whirl. My cell number is 978-555-0139. Give me a call when you're standing in front of the light. I'll tell you what to do next. Ship facts. Can I hear another ship fact? How about this? Before 1865, captains sometimes had difficulty finding people interested in joining their crew. So they just started kidnapping them. They'd pay a big guy to go around a popular harbor, knock young men unconscious, and not wake them up until they were far out to sea. This was called press ganging. One particularly evil press ganger even threw himself a fake birthday party specifically to attract kidnapping victims. Of course, justice was served when he himself was press ganged a few years later. Brutal. Can I hear another ship fact? Cool fact. Most people think all pirates were men, but that's not true at all. In fact, there were dozens of famous lady pirates in the 16th and 17th centuries. One of them, Jacotte Delay, was born in Haiti. After her mother died and her father was killed, she became one of the most feared pirates in the Caribbean. At one point, she faked her own death during a battle. She went undercover and pretended to be a man for years. When she finally revealed her true identity, other pirates gave her the nickname Back from the Dead Red because of her bright red hair. Lady power. All right, one more. Can I hear another ship fact? Food for thought. In the day of pirates, some governments decided to get in on the raiding action by authorizing certain ships to act just like pirates. In other words, they were allowed to board and steal from other ships as much as they liked. These ships were called privateers or corsairs. Interesting. All right, we'll hear more ship facts later. Bye-bye. See ya. All right, so now apparently we have to go fix a lighthouse. A lot of stuff to do now. We got the radio working. Did that. Haven't done that. I just want, ugh. I'm like huge on checking everything off. So to get to the lighthouse, we need to fix our dinghy. 
<laughs> I love that. I'll need to find something to help translate these first. Uh, all right, I guess we're gonna have to buy a dictionary for money. We have 930, but yeah, so I'm, we'll have to look at our award-winning pamphlet, but I think it's addition, so like 19, we have to find two that add up to like one red and one black that add up to 19. So let's get our dictionaries. We gotta go to the cultural center. I guess buy a dictionary. Because, you know, God forbid we save up money to get Ned a an awesome... Basically, that very... To get I can't afford that. What? We are... Oh my god, seriously. But I need to save up all of my money to buy Ned an awesome... Sorry I fucked up and missed our anniversary because I went to Iceland instead sword. Hey, girl! Well... I actually do have a name, you know. It's Nancy. Get your little lady bones into the prep area and get some torremotor orders ready. It's all hands on deck for the lunch rush at the Misty Skip. I'm a sleuth, not a chef. Are you sure you want me back there handling the sharp stuff? You're eating and lodging here for free, just like me. So it's only fair to get some good work out of you. Well, might as well take a stab at it. Yo, why aren't you doing it, Gunner? Yes, even if the tourists. No calling customers weak spined ninny faces. No challenging customers to fights. Yes, this includes arm wrestling as discussed. Don't clean fish in the middle of the bar. No bellowing. Alright, um, I remember this money earning puzzle set, and I absolutely hate it. <laughs> um I would much rather do things like the parfaits or um mixing drinks, but this is awful. I'm so bad at this. Like, normally I build up a ton of money doing the games over and over again just to get a nice stockpile, but I absolutely can't for this game. So, yeah, I'm not gonna choose New Order to make additional earnings. I'm just okay, gonna do... time to get to work. I'm just gonna do Icelandic vocabulary over and over and over again. So, it's basically, you have these 12 slots and three different types, and you have to get all of these. So for the two, it's just they have to be two in a row. Um, and then for the things that are in a row, it can count either in a row like that or like in a Z. So yeah, also we aren't fast enough, so they can suck it. Um, so this is gonna be four long. So I'm just gonna try doing like four long and do it this way. So then we would need fish, shark. So that takes care of that and fish and shark. And then, yeah, see, but then like we can't do like seal, seal. Cause then that isn't that. Oh, help just brings us to that, God damn it. Whatever. Um, I found, yeah. I like getting ones that have this because then it's only two, first of all. And second of all, this has six. So you know that it has to be all of these exactly in that row. You do have to figure out whether it's top or bottom, but that isn't too terribly difficult. Based on this, I'm gonna say that that would be like that. Um, and then we can have all four of these are that, that's like that. And then we need three of these in a row. And then we need, oh God. But then we need that thing twice. Um, all right, let's try switching them. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> okay. So we have these. Oh, fuck, that's not right. 
Alright, so we have our super long one. And then all of these are threes. So one of them is going to be three across the top, and then the other ones are going to be like one, two, three. So we need one that's three of the deer thing. So that's just going to be anything that goes in here. And then I think I got it. Yeah. All right. Make another tray. Fuck no. I hate those. Hello, Fiskud. I heard you've had problems with the festival the last couple of years. Care to talk about that? The festival is not what it once was. I'll return things to the old ways no matter how many buckets of hot tar I have to dump. Some of the harbor boats still have holes in their bottoms. I see. Did you have a plan like that for this year too? Elizabeth said no more trouble or she kicks me out of the skip. I only pay with an angry sheep. What does that mean? Means I do it, but I don't like it. All right. You, yeah, let's throw Soren under the bus. Soren told me about your boat crash. He will pay for a wagon tongue. <laughs> Who told me isn't important? Oh, my little fisker, but it is. Soren is not one of us. He is an outsider, born ten miles away, a stranger. Ten miles away, and he's a stranger forever? Well, that seems unfair to Soren. Unfair means nothing. You think because a culture is unfair it will change for you? That is not the world. That is not skip bro. Alright. Well, ten miles away as an outsider. How do you know Elizabeth? I've known her since she was a negative pre-glimmer in her puppy's eye. Always had the local boys terrified, that one. She knows what she wants and heads for it straight as an arrow. Young men, <laughs> not so good with a woman like that. She's scary. I can see how she might be intimidating, but her heart's in the right place. Aye, but right now, she wants revenge on Magnus, angrier than a bull seal on a full moon. Still, she lets me sleep and eat her, so that's worth something. Did you know about her and Magnus? <laughs> we all did, my fisker. From the sound of things, it didn't end very well, unfortunately. Magnus is good with waves, bad with women. No skills to speak of, he is, um, how do you say it, a runner. He runs. Ouch, I'm glad he's not here to hear that. I was bitten by a shark once, now I can only speak the truth. Oh, I didn't know that was a side effect of shark bites. It is a curse I bear with pride. Later. <laughs> Be gone with you. All right. And on that note, why do I feel like I'm always ending when he says be gone with you and I'm tempted to be like, uh -huh, be gone with you. Um, but yeah, now that we have done our first round of, it reminds me of sushi, but sushi thing, hell. Um, kind of like bento, I guess. Um, which we'll never be returning to again. We can do some... Uh, Icelandic to earn oh my god we made a lot of money on that though we made like 700 kroner um so I guess maybe it does benefit to do those but I'm gonna make some money off camera whether I decide to suffer through the uh plating challenges or if I do some uh Icelandic vocabulary but either way I want to build up a nice stockpile of money so we can buy our dictionary and buy our wonderful boyfriend Ned a sorry I fucked up and went to Iceland on our anniversary sword so I'm gonna do all of that off camera and then when I come back we can talk to some more people and I believe once we have our dictionary we can fix the dinghy and head out to the lighthouse for Alex so thank you so much for watching and if you liked it um, please consider liking and subscribing and coming back to watch the next episode because it should be a good one going out to the lighthouse all right again thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time